Okay, look at this, guys. And I have to get closer enough to show you. But look. Mmm. I can't wait. I couldn't believe that we actually have have this in our yard. And we've been harvesting it since we got here. Noah's been spending a lot of time picking and eating these. My mom was here yesterday. She came out, came down and picked a whole bunch. And both of the trees, we have two trees actually. And both trees are uh, really, really heavily producing right now. So there's one here, one there, and I think. And there's another giant tree right over that way. That one is also heavily, heavily producing berries.
sandwich. These are poison berries. Yeah, don't eat those. Can I throw them away? Uh -huh. to the people. Hi guys, welcome back. So it is, I think, the end of week one, beginning of week two, however you want to say it. We've gotten a lot done around the house and the homestead. Um, we have our pool set up, fire going. There's the goat. Um, and there's the house. So you can see right now we have a temporary chicken coop right there. Um, the chickens are all in there for now until we get everything set up where I'm heading, which is down this hill. We're going down there. Um, can't really see. So, right down there you can see there is a chicken, well, this is a shed. We just uh, got that used shed. Um, and we had my dad come over and help us put it together because we had to disassemble the whole thing when we bought it. Um, so, it's mostly finished. There's about, you know, 20, 30% of it left. We have to put the roof on it, the doors, and just put it in the space that it's going. So um, again, guys, we have this really steep hill that we have to go down in order to get to the main area. But this right now is where we are. We have a lot of room up here as well. Um, but this is going to be mostly, you know, the hangout patio area. So we want to make all of this clear cut it and into the homestead part of the property. So let's head down and check out what Jesse's doing. We did have a huge fire where we burnt down the last old chicken coop. It was literally a complete mess. There's lots of ash, so mask is on. Let's go. Okay, guys, so let's go down and check out the old coop that we burnt down the one that was here from the previous owners had to come down it was really really bad we actually did try we spent a full day trying to put it together uh but it just it just it was no good not usable the walls were too soft the wood was completely rotted so we picked up this guy here um, and this will be our chicken coop so we've like I said put most of it together we just have to finish it off but we're gonna move it into its permanent space which is right here before we finish putting it together so this is a, the space that the chicken coop was in yesterday we had a massive fire here it literally looked like a house was burning down because it pretty much was um, the coop we lit it on fire and the whole thing is down which is great because basically all the mosquitoes the bugs the eggs um, the insects ants everything that was here that was a pest and bothersome is all gone now and we are so happy with the result look at how nice clean the area is you know any um rodents or anything which definitely there would have been some rodents they're all gone so we have a nice space to get the coop down there's a massive feeder there um, and get enough space for the chickens to move around uh, a lot of space for them to free range and everything so this is going to be perfect so right now we're just breaking everything and uh trying to make it perfect for the chickens
Okay guys, wanted to make another update, show you guys what we did with the chickens. I'm about to go and feed them this leftover rice. Me and Max are gonna go and show you guys what we've done with the chickens. So let's go see. So we obviously got a lot of more work to do to it, but we brought them down here today. Set up this old shed that we're using temporarily for a coop. And yeah, that's where they are. This chicken right here is molting. That's why the fur has gone off her back or the feathers, which is normal. One of the best parts about having chickens is that you can feed them all your scraps and leftovers. So you're not really throwing food out. Hey Max. Mac Max got covered in all of this, all of these things from the woods. So we're gonna have to comb him through. It's a daily occurrence trying to comb out these things out of him. Like Velcro almost. That's one of the roosters right there. And then there's another rooster there. So they kind of pick at each other all the time. So this is the remains of the old chicken coop that was here that went up in flames and ever since this burned down the mosquito problem has been solved. So all of this is going to go next, we're going to burn it all up and then that will clear up some more room and then Right over here somewhere, we're gonna put a, a little coop shed looking thing for the goat. So he'll come down here and hang out with the chickens. And by having the goat down here, he'll offer some security to these guys from predators. But let's go for a walk. I'll show you guys the rest of our property. Max, come on. Come on, Max. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's a stream up ahead that we're gonna go to. Max, this way. Come on. So luckily this part is all cleared off already so we don't have to do much over here but the rest of this is another story so all of this is gonna eventually get all cut back Come on, Max. Max, come on. Come on, Max. So guys, over here, building a bridge out of trees to get to the other part of the land. So there's this ditch right here. And when the river overflows, it will actually wash through here and come flood part of our land back there. It doesn't really flood, it just gets a little damp. But we'll, sh we'll update you guys on the bridge, which is gonna go here. And then all of this stuff here is gonna get cleared so that it eventually looks like this. 
but let's go show you guys the water. Come on, Max. And here's the stream. That's part of our land. And apparently this place fills up with uh, trout and salmon and carp, which nobody wants to eat. Oh, mosquitoes are getting bad down here, so I'm gonna be quick, guys. You like it, Max? Okay, I'm getting killed by mosquitoes, so we're gonna head back up there. Max, where are you going? Going for a drip, swim or a drink? Come on. Come on. Come on, Max. Max. Let's go back. So this is part of the chicken run. So it's all collapsed and shitty looking. So that's gonna get burnt down. And then we'll make more room for these guys. Are mosquitoes getting you, Max? Yeah. 